Hey, what's up everybody? This video I wanted to do a quick one on hotkeys for Windows 8 Consumer Preview. Um, some essential ones I think is gonna make life a lot easier if you're not using a touch screen. Okay, so the first one I wanna show you is the print screen option. Of course, Windows always had a print screen option. You hit the print screen button, it saves it to your clipboard. But now with Windows 8, if you hold down the Windows key, and all these hotkeys are gonna um, have you pressing the Windows key, or most of them, there's a couple that's not, but the Windows key, you hold that down and hit the print screen key, your screen will flash dark for a second, and what it did is it actually took a screenshot and saved it to your pictures library right here. And you can see that's the screenshot. Just took a picture of the left screen, um, but it did work. And it, I think it just gave it a default name of the date or something. But all right, the next one up is gonna be the Windows key and the C, as in Chris. That brings up your charms, or C as in charms. Um, from here you can get to your settings, devices, the start menu, or the start screen, and um, you know, your search and share and everything. Uh, I don't find myself using this that much. If you're on a touch screen, you can just kind of touch it from the right side over to the left. It's going to do the same thing. Um, the next one up we're going to do is Windows Tab. Now Windows Tab is going to be kind of like the old, it's kind of like a uh, an alt tab, but it's going to show you on the left, here, left side here all the running applications. Um, in fact, you can see here, ah, that's scary, but um, that's my webcam, and here, as a matter of fact, you can see there's my webcam, and there's the camera I'm recording from, um, and you can see my two monitors there, whatever, so that tab will just kind of scroll through your open uh, Metro apps, and then also to the desktop, so we can get back to our desktop here. And uh, let's see, next one up is going to be the Windows W key that I like. Windows W will automatically bring up the search query thing for your settings. So updates, I used that one in an earlier video. So you can, you can quickly get to your updates. Um, and then Windows, while we're here, I'm going to do a Windows F. So that's just going to bring up our um, search within files. So this is cool because I created here. Let me give you an example. And I, I tried to give you an example in my last video, and my cat's claw on the door. <laughs> but um, I forgot to create my documents. So now I have documents here in the shopping list folder. Shopping list one. Okay, you can see I got bananas, oranges, apples. I want to search for the word apples on this whole computer. So if we go Windows F, and you probably can't see it on the top here because I don't have it recording that section, but I'm just going to type the word apples. And on the left-hand side, you can see it found the word apples in the shopping list file. So you can double-click it, and it'll open that file for you. That's a really cool feature. Um, Windows I brings up our settings menu. So this one's kind of cool. I use this one a little bit, especially for, like, turning off a computer. You know, you get your power button there. Um, you know, stuff that's kind of in your sys tray. PC info and all this other stuff. So Windows I will toggle that on and off. Windows X. This one is, I don't think this was in the developer preview. If it was, I never knew it, but this one, for all you techies out there or power users, um, sysadmins, this one you'll want to get to know, and it's going to be your best friend. Well, it depends, because a lot of people still like using the run, the run menu or just the search query. So, But this is, this is a quick little system utility settings um, that you get down here. Now, if you if you want to use your mouse to get to it, if you just hover over the left corner and then right click, it'll bring up the same menu. But Windows X will do that. So you got, of course, you can see what's in here. I'm not going to list it all, but there's a lot of cool things in there. Next up is Windows D. Now that's been around for a long time as well, but I just wanted to show you this because let's say you're on your start screen. If you just do Windows D, it'll bring it to your desktop. Or if you're in a, um, you know, a Metro app of solitaire you go to windows d to bring it to your desktop and th that's another thing if you hover in your top left you can see you'll see that you know you'll see one of your apps that's running and if you look down below you can kind of see some little squares that just cor uh, corresponds with other metro apps running now before i, I don't know what the de developer preview but i don't think you were able to close these i don't know I, I i didn't fully test out the metro app stuff over there but like here if i don't want this webcam one going anymore and eh, let's leave the webcam one up Let's say I don't want pinball up running. I just right click it and close. And that's another thing. When you right click, you can snap left or snap right. And that's going to be our next hotkey. For right now, I'm just going to show you. Let's snap this left. 
So now we can still have the Metro app on the left, but the, the um, what is it? Windows, I think, period. So if you hold Windows, period, that's going to toggle your Metro app to run wherever the heck you want it to run. So let's get back to our desktop. And let's, how do we get rid of that? I don't, I don't remember. There we go. <laughs> so, but you know, I want to close that. So let's uh, right click and close it. The next one up is the win page up and page down buttons. So let's say we're on our start menu here. If you hold down the Windows key and you hit page up or page down, it's going to move that start screen to the left or to the right monitor, whichever one you prefer. I just leave it on the left. I mean, it's just, I haven't really messed with it on the right. So other than that, um, I think those are the hot keys I'm going to try to memorize and try to get used to using a lot. I still wish Windows would come out with a better zoom utility to use, like the Windows key and the scroll wheel or something. But, but uh, yep, yeah, leave your comments and questions and... All that other junk down below.